Exactly. Very cold the last couple of days here on the South Plains of Texas. Matt Mooney with eight on the shot clock, turning around and knocking it down to the rack and rejected. Yeah, he's, got that, uh, he's got that timing down <laughs> rather well. There's Owens finishing right there. There between 2011 and 2014, so he's there for the second time around now. But the two were able to spend some time together before the game and even snapped a quick picture. And you see Odiase really learning how to rebound more effectively. Actually tips the ball to himself uh, just so he could rebound it. And that, that's high-level stuff right there. Losing her home to Texas Southern, but you got to be careful in these games. Those are your Big 12 non-conference standings brought to you by Plains Capital Bank. I, I don't know that you can argue with that based on what they lost from a year ago, but certainly it will be something that lines up at motivation. Minutes to go before halftime. Red Raiders by 16. Von Julian got the switch, got Tariq on him, was going to try and shoot over the Red Raider big man and does. Charleston went the other way, though, and now back to try to set the screen. Here's Edwards, quick three-pointer is good. If he's hot, thing happened for the Red Raiders. Here comes Brandon Francis with the pick, and Culver, ooh, found it wide open down the lane, and at the buzzer, just able to finish. It, you know, Veal penetrated, and then th th it equaled that three-point make, and they haven't scored since. And they've turned it over again. Mooney on the run, Brandon Francis going inside, and instead is a recipe for disaster if you're Texas Tech. Guy that averaged 12 points a game a year ago, and he tipped that one away from Edwards and into the hands of Quentin Thomas. Need to find someone to get the basketball to. Culver, nice look inside to Mooney, and Mooney able to throw that one in off the glass. And it's to go in this one from Lubbock. Charleston, here's Veal underneath Edwards. He had circled around. Red Raiders lost him, and the freshman scored. Him out there, and he had a nice... Uh, screen set up right there for him and Jarrett I think was looking to try to get the ball inside but just decided to pull the trigger and see Veal finish at the rim. Francis just rotates over and takes the charge and makes it actually very easy on Brandon Francis. And a great look by Brandon there offensively. We saw Southeastern do it a moment ago and now the Red Raiders get Moretti on the back door. Those were the same thing which that's why you, you were cooking with gas right there kind of that small lineup as you could match up with whatever. And and now you see Texas Tech kind of speeding things up. Watching this ball game tonight on TV. Well, we were talking about uh, Marlon Veal playing through that knee injury, and uh, nobody in a Red Raider uniform in any sport. Hicks has the rebound, and this ball game is over here at the United Supermarkets Arena in Lubbock, where the Red Raiders have beaten Southeastern Louisiana tonight.